So last weekend, we're riding. My nephew says, Uncle Josh, I don't have any brakes. So basically what I did, me out on the road, going 30 miles an hour and then hitting the brakes and doing donuts and stopping, drifting down the driveway, I smoked the brake pads. Um, what had happened is I lost the small pad and uh, it pushed the piston cup out so far that the fluid came out. So uh, we did continue to ride. I rode the, the one with no brakes and basically just used my front feet for brakes, um, rubbing them on the tire, kind of Flintstones. But um, I uh, redid the brakes. Uh, cart one has new brake pads, cart two. Um, I didn't lose the clip and the, the hardware to it, so I got lucky. <clears throat> um, if you go on ComanPowerSports.com, um, you can uh, basically spend 90 bucks on the entire brake assembly. That would be the uh, master cylinder, the reservoir, uh, the banjo boats, the uh, uh, brake line, um, the reservoir tubing, the clamps. Um, so um, if you don't want to do that, you can get on Amazon. And um, these are the brake pads for your Coleman KT196. Siletto 416 um, moped bike etc um, um, brake pads and uh, they're like six bucks a piece so um, I was able to luckily you know since having two carts the uh, the first cart you know brake assembly was still intact still looked good uh, even though I changed them out, um, but I had something to kind of go by and reference and, and uh, you know, make sure I didn't lose all the pieces. So uh, there's cart one. I uh, cleaned up the caliper with some, uh, you know, brake parts cleaner and wiped them down real good. And, and um, so, uh, yeah, if you uh, don't want to spend 90 bucks on an entire... Uh, brake assembly you can find the pads I know there were some people on Amazon saying they bought a smaller pad um, on these here let's see the total width of the um, the pad you know end to end is uh, 85 millimeters and then uh, 68 millimeters from eye center to uh, eye center and um, I'll be honest with you um, I think they they actually fit better than the uh, the factory uh, the factory pads the factory pads uh, were super tight inside the caliper bracket um, this uh, this little ear right here kind of there, you know, rides in there kind of as guides and, you know, lets this thing, keeps it on track. Um, and it seemed like it fit in there a little better. Um, the pad uh, just kind of looked thicker and meatier overall, but for six bucks, I mean, you know, if, if, if you uh, end up smoking your brakes, uh, you know, that's what you need. So, um, Coleman KT196, I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, I'll tell you something else. I broke a tie rod in driving into my wood trailer, so I bought four. Um, I got those from uh, Coleman Power Sports. Uh, I think they'll ship out of Tempe, Arizona, and uh, kind of uh, I'm thinking it's probably just a back room that somebody's working and shipping parts out of. But um, I got some of these 10 uh, 420 10 gears from Gold Power Sports. Um, missing a tooth on cart two's rear sprocket, so I went ahead and um, the front and rear ten tooths are the same, so went ahead and bought some extra one of those. Uh, these are called pr uh, press gaskets. That's the thing that uh, you know keeps your um, your CVT uh, transmission front uh, cover on um, in case we lose those back on the property. You know I've got some spares of those, spare chain. 
uh, you know, a bunch of spare belts. I've, I've solved the belt problem with the alignment issue, but, you know, we still smoke a belt going up the hills every now and again. A uh, bunch of front cover gaskets I got for the Tillotsons. Um, Tillotson 1 is still, uh, needs a front cover, and that's the one the push rod um, came out and it ran, but uh, I need to get that gasket on there. And I still need to put uh, the stage ones from the factory Hisons on the uh, the Tilly that's on the cart two, and then that Predator that's on the cart uh, of, of one. And I'll be honest with you, I think they're about the same. They feel about the same. I mean, their speed, we drag raced them. Me and my nephew were about approximately the same size, and... Um, I just felt like the uh, I got on the Predator well, of course I drove the Tillotson I thought it was faster uh, he gets on the Predator he thinks it's faster so I think they're that evenly matched where you know you can't it's when something's so level you know if you don't look at it perfectly on it looks like it's crooked so um, I think they're that evenly matched um, when, when I had the cart one Tillotson um, on the carts um I thought it was significantly faster, but the guy Scott at Go Power Sports said it might have been that tooth missing on the sprocket. So once I get this gasket, get uh, uh, the first cart, um, tillets and uh, ready to go, I'm going to see how it does. <clears throat> Another thing I did is I actually washed the carts. They were so caked in mud that uh, uh, you couldn't see them, and I finally took the plastic off the seats. Um, and... Uh, so uh, I got to clean the uh, um, torque converters and I've got some dry lube for that. Uh, put the old Go Power Sports stickers on the front. But uh, yeah, I mean, we're having fun. We're bashing these things, man. They're kids go-karts and we're out here thrashing them. I've got the track about halfway done up there when i get it done we're going to do some videos and i'll show you i mean we we put these things through their paces and it seems like that uh every time we come off the track <clears throat> we're just doing a maintenance you know schedule you know we're having to tighten up these ball joints the shocks i don't even think they they're pretty much, i think they're pretty much useless the way these a-arms are designed um you're not going to get a lot of travel up and down because you know you're just on a little tiny ball joint there <clears throat> the back you're getting a lot of articulation just because it's on a swing arm um the rack and pinion there's a, 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 a shit ton of uh understeer so you you basically have to steer into your turn and kind of drift out of it um, because there's no going wide into the turn and then sharply turning into it you're going to end up in the, the brush and you're going to have to get out and pull your card out because these don't have reverse um <clears throat> But, uh, man, I'm, you know, I'm super happy with these carts. I don't have the lights on them right now. I was charging them, and then they're over there in a box uh, getting uh, getting cleaned up. And, and uh, but, yeah, I'm, you know, I've had to replace the tie rod on two, uh, brake pads on two. Uh, my seat broke on cart two, uh, so I zip-tied it to the actual uh, roll bar. Um, but twos seem to have a kind of the worst luck so far but uh you know the welds seem like they're holding up and you know uh we get this track i get it done we're gonna you know put them on the track and uh give you a little bit of a treat man because uh, I, I think you'll like the track so um but uh like subscribe thanks for for uh, uh watching and uh see you again